I've recently seen this crazy time remapping slash split scan effect going around the internet like crazy. And today I'm going to be showing you guys you can turn your footage into that. We're going to be turning this clip into something like this. You guys can do this inside of After Effects with all native effects. You don't need any presets, plugins, or anything like that. So sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, enjoy this free tutorial. Let's hop right into it. All right, so we've got the clip of Playboy Cardi opened up in the timeline here. And to start off, what we're going to do is we're going to right click in our project down here and we're going to create a new solid here. You guys can name the solid whatever you want. I recommend naming it Wave, but it's totally up to you. It doesn't even matter what you name it. We're going to hit OK. And then you're going to go ahead and search up Gradient Ramp here. We're going to drag and drop this one onto our solid. Doesn't matter what color your solid is but this is what matters you want to make sure your gradient ramp has black at the top and white at the bottom here and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn off this layer here with the eyedropper so it's now hidden super quick before we get any more into this video i have to let you guys know about my editing packs presets over on my website there are a ton of editing packs created by me for creators just like you we have so many different effects and transitions over there that you guys can use on your projects to level them up instantly we have everything ranging from fast and wood effects that allows you to add drag and drop shakes hits and wipes to your videos super easily. A LUT pack that contains over 285 different LUTs, drag and drop 3D effects that work on every single editing program that require no render time whatsoever, and so many other different unique looks, editing packs, and styles that you guys can use to level up your visuals. If you guys are stuck in an edit or you're just looking to take your videos to that next step for 2024, I highly recommend going over and checking out the site because there's something there for you. But anyways, let's hop right back into this. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is click on our video layer here, and we're going to search up time displacement. We're going to drag and drop that on the clip of Cardi. Now you guys are going to think, wow, this looks so weird. This does not look like what you told me it doesn't look like. There's a couple settings you have to change here. So we're going to go ahead and right here, we're going to change this to our solid. So that makes it a little bit better. But the second we go ahead and change our source to effects and masks, we'll get a crazy look just like this. Like I was showing you guys at the beginning there. And you guys can mess with the amount just by going and turning this up here. So we go for something like this. That just looks insanely weird. You can even go and just add like a little bit of it. Something like uh, 0.6. Like, come on, guys. That is actually so sick. And that is pretty much the effect there, guys. If you want to make it look a lot smoother, what you can do is add a new adjustment layer. And then on top of that, if you have RSMB, I recommend throwing it on top. It's just going to add that super smooth motion blur to it. As you guys could see, it did that right there just to make it look a lot cleaner and smoother, but that's totally up to you guys. But yeah, super fast, super quick tutorial, clocking in at just under a few minutes. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave a like and check out my editing packs as well. They'll be linked below. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.